Whether you're an existing beekeeper or you're just starting this year, it used to be a lot simpler to decide on what type of hive to buy because there was just a Langstroth hive. Now there's an introduction of so many different kinds of beekeeping hives that it gets a little overwhelming. We have the top bar hive, horizontal hives. It just goes on and on with the different types of hives you can start with. One of them is a hive I get asked about a lot, and that is the flow hive. You're constantly asking me, what's my opinion of a flow hive? Do I have a flow hive? Do I run a flow hive? You want my opinion about it. So today we're going to talk about the flow hive. Before we get started, though, I want to show you something. I spoke out in Nevada uh, last weekend. Great time, as you heard me say yesterday. Look at this. I got this amazing, looks like a trophy. <laughs> I mean, this is a beautiful plaque. It's heavy duty, it's made out of glass. And it says, David Burns, thank you from Nevada State Beekeepers Conference 2023. That is incredible. They also gave me something very similar made out of wood. Look at that. That is a special touch when you speak at a conference and that's the sort of things that they give their speakers. I really do appreciate that. And so a shout out to Debbie Gilmore who put the whole thing together with her team. They did a fabulous job. One of the things that I really enjoyed not only speaking there, the people and the different presentations, but I tell you what, the food I'm a little disappointed in. Now, wait a minute, hear me out. I'm only disappointed in it because I was down to the last hole on my belt. You know, getting thinner, thinner, going down to the last hole. The food was so outstandingly delicious. I'm back up to one hole north of the final hole <laughs> on my belt. Doggone it, the food was just outstanding. I'm telling you what, it was really good and I enjoyed it. Usually don't go back for seconds. But man, it was tough. So thank you to the state of Nevada. I really appreciate being asked to come out there and speak. Had a great time. Hey, I really want you guys to join me this Thursday night at 7 o'clock Central Time for my live stream. Looking forward to doing that again. Thursday night, 7 o'clock. I'll leave a link in the description below. You guys can pile in there. We can have a great time. Another question that I'm asked a lot is, should I start with a flow hive? Should I start with a top bar hive? What type of hive should I start with? Well, let me clarify. Uh, a flow hive really is basically a Langstroth designed hive. It's, it's the same as a Langstroth, only it has a different way where you can harvest the honey from the super by essentially turning a crank, opening up things where the honey runs out into your bottle. So it's still a Langstroth. It just eliminates the, what I would think is a great experience of drawing the honeycomb out, slicing it, putting it in an extractor, and spinning it out, and then letting it go into bottles. I have a lot more to say about the Flow Hive. Don't go anywhere. I just want to take a moment. Guys, would you please subscribe? I love it when you subscribe. And give me a thumbs up. It means so much. Bobblehead David says, yes, please subscribe. Let's get back to the Flow Hive. My personal opinion is that it's dangerous only if some people feel that a flow hive means they never have to be good managers of their bees. And that's no reflection on the company at all. It's reflecting on the individual. Maybe somebody says, finally, I don't have to inspect my bees. I don't have to open it up anymore. I can just throw bees in there. Wait a minute, turn a crank, get honey. That's all I want. That's not the proper way to keep bees. We do have to inspect. We do have to look for diseases and pests. And we do have to see how our queens are laying. Is there any brood disease? Again, no reflection on the company. I'm just saying it may bring out a laziness on the part of the beekeeper. But if it doesn't, Flow hives are great. People ask me, David, how come you've never done a video on the flow hive? Why don't you have one? It comes down to budget. They're way out of my budget range. I'm not going to spend a th seven, eight hundred dollars, a thousand dollars on one particular hive. I just can't afford that. That's just my simple solution on it. Now, I would do it if I had one. I would love to run one, but out of my out of my cost range. And you know, when I think about my operation, I could buy a lot of equipment for a thousand dollars. I could build a lot of, I can buy a lot of wood and build a lot of boxes, raise a lot of queens for the same thousand dollars. It's just how I handle my money. But if you're first starting out, 
I always advise people to start with a Langstroth. Why? A Langstroth, that's usually the box that all the tests have been done on bees with. So when, when there's been studies done on bees, I would say 90 more than 90% of the tests have been done on, with bees in Langstroth boxes. A lot of the treatments for mites, uh, a lot of the treatments take in consideration of how you treat when they're in a Langstroth hive. There's very little information about how you use these treatments when they're in different types of boxes, like a top bar hive. So some of these things, some of the reasons I recommend a Langstroth is because so much history, so much information, is available to the new beekeeper on how to learn to keep bees in a Langstroth hive. Now, once you build up your beekeeping ex experience, I think it's fine if you wanna experiment with something else, like you saw me recently make a video experimenting with a little circular hive. Well, I, you know, that's after I've already gained a lot of experience on bees from within a Langstroth hive. I've used top bar hives, I've experimented with those. So it's fine to venture out once you gain a good amount of beekeeping experience. So beekeeping equipment can be so confusing and especially if you're new or kind of new, you may not understand what box you should use, what a queen excluder is, what, you know, all these things are just overwhelming. Got a video right here, sorting it all out for you. That's my job. I'm here to help you enjoy beekeeping, keep healthier bees, make fewer mistakes. Look at this video, how to start beekeeping in 2023, 1.5 million views. I'm going to see you over there.